Greetings to another video. Today we're going to answer the question together Is expensive cycling kit worth the price tag? So I thought how can I do a video about this and I was like I have a pair of cycling shorts that I've had for almost five years and I thought let's pull them out let's see what they look like because they are one of the pairs that I still wear maybe two or three times a week and so I thought they've been through the wash a lot I've worked this out I'll put it on the screen now over that like four and a half year period and these are they these are Rafa classic shorts and they retail for 160 pounds and yeah I'm basically going to show you close-ups of what they look like basically the state of them after that many washes and then you can decide whether you want to spend your money on a more premium cycling bib or short or whether you just want to stick to cheaper options and alternatives. Full disclaimer, so in 2018 I was gifted these by Rafa for just basically before I did Lanza and John Groves. There was no like expectation of me like talking about them especially not like almost five years later in a video so also I will say I'm not sponsored by Rafa. I do ride with Rafa, they are my local club uh, what else do I need to say that I'm not <laughs> I'm not affiliated with them. This is not a sponsored video I have worked with them in the past. So full disclaimer So everything that I say and show in this video will just be like my honest opinion um, About these shorts and how they've held up over that amount of time that amount of wear and that amount of washes So these are the shorts. They are Rafa classic in the regular leg length First thing we're gonna look at is a chamois because that is the most important thing of any shorts. This is actually the older version of um, the chamois that Rafa used. I actually preferred this one um, to the, the newer version. I just found this really super comfortable. And as you can see, the fabric of it, it is just still pretty much as you'd expect, like a brand new chamois to look. So I don't feel like there's been anywhere at all to it. And the cushioning, I don't. I, I feel like it must have compressed over that amount of time and that amount of wear. However, it still feels like really spongy, really comfortable and really comfortable to still ride in. The stitching around where the chamois is though, that has started to like come away. So as you can see there, there's like, I don't know what that is actually. I actually think that this might have been my error because because the stitching's not moved anywhere else, I think maybe did I put something in the washing machine that had Velcro on it and stuck to it and then kind of ripped it off? I don't know. But as you can see, like all the way around it, like that's the only area that um, the stitching has started to come away. But that doesn't actually affect where the chamois sits because obviously it's stitched all the way around. It has started to like fray a little bit like the actual chamois itself. You can kind of see that poking through, but it doesn't actually affect how the chamois feels. So that's the main thing. Next thing are grippers. So this pair of shorts has a gripper around the waistband and obviously leg grippers. So the gripper around the waist, which means because they're shorts and not bibs, it means that it's gonna stay in place. But the bit of the back has just stayed like perfectly intact. It's still really stretchy. The elastic's still really good in it. However, on the front two sides, I guess where you pull the shorts up and down, it's just kind of like cracked a little bit. Um, but again, still stretchy. There's still loads of elastic in there. And I guess it's just, just looks more cosmetic, I guess. But that has like worn away. Leg grippers. I'm not a huge fan of leg grippers, generally in any shorts. Um, however, these ones, they are silicon and they've lasted like exceptionally well. Like there's not really any wear on them at all they're still pretty much the same as when i had them there's no like like tears there's no like where the silicones come away it's still the exact same so very impressed with that there is like a little i mean again this is like really cosmetic but the actual rafa logo that's just kind of cracked a little bit next thing to look at is the fabric they are like the softest material that i've i think of every single bib that I own these are like I think these are the nicest because they're like matte fabric super stretchy super comfy they almost feel like do you know the Lululemon Align leggings they're like that like they're so like buttery soft how is the fabric after that many washes that many wears and I should add that at the first few years I had these they were worn out in sunshine they were worn out in like yeah lots of different weathers and 
then they were obviously worn on Zwift where you just sweat so much. So <laughs> these have been like pretty much fully saturated in my lovely sweat. So just bear that in mind. They also are the shorts that I wear under, if I ever go on the mountain bike. So that's what I will wear underneath like my trail shorts or trail like trousers. So just because they are super comfy. The fabric of these, like if you look, there's not really any like wear. There's no real bobbins. There's a tiny, oh actually there's a little bit there, like a tiny bit of, I wouldn't even call it bobbling, just just a bit of wear I guess. But on the whole, especially like on your bum, like there's no real like visible wear. And they, I swear like these have been worn so many times. And I'm really surprised that there isn't really much wear, especially like on the, the chamois, where you actually sit on the saddle. There's not really a lot, there's a tiny little bit. I probably would still wear these outdoors, like a lot more, but I just prefer like full bibs. Are they see-through? Now when I hold them up and I stretch them, yeah, they are. Mm, you make your own mind. Depends how much they're gonna stretch. Right, I'm gonna do a squat test now in them and then you can see whether or not. I'm gonna do it right in front of the, the light so it's kind of mimicking daylight. So let's just hope you can't see my, <laughs> my bum through them. <laughs> can you see my bum? I'm gonna go and ask one of my friends. Can you see my bum? No. Not, not even a little bum, bum crack? No. Promise? Not from here. You sure? Mm -hmm. What about when I get close? Ferrari didn't. <laughs> no, no, no bum crack at all? No. And then the other thing is like, do they wash well? So I think these have washed really, really well. And I think it is down to the fabric, down to like the good stitching. And they've been finished really well. So I, I personally think, and you let me know what you think. I think these have been worth the price tag for these. I know I didn't pay, but if I had been spending my own money, which I have on a lot of other kit, I think these have been worth it and I would buy them again. I don't feel like I need to though, because these are still working phenomenally well. And I think what I would say about, because I can only talk about this one pair, I can't talk about like all Rafa, I can't talk about all expensive brands and that they're always gonna be better than the cheaper, but I can say 100%, I think for me, these have been amazing and continue to be my favorite pair uh, to wear on Zwift. I just wanted to add one little quick comparison. So basically at the time I got the classic shorts, I also got a pair of core and they are a cheaper, I guess, option for short. I think they retail, I think they're about, they are 90 pounds now. Maybe they were like, I can't remember, they were cheaper then. I wore them similar amounts and I don't feel like they lasted as well. I actually gave them to a friend. I had them for about a year and a half, two years maybe, maybe even a bit longer. But I felt like the leg gripper on that just kind of stretched out and didn't kind of have um, as good elasticity. And I felt the same with the actual fabric of the shorts. It was a thinner fabric. And I felt like that kind of went a little bit more see-through quicker. The other thing to say about like kit, I think there's a massive difference in quality of price gaps. However, I feel like, so basically what I'm trying to say is like from the really cheap stuff to like the middle of the range to more high end. So I would class these as top of that middle to high end. You get like such a big jump in what you actually get in comfort, in fabric, in like research and development. Um, so if you're female, they've been tested on women, like shaped for women, like cut around, like how a, women, how a woman's body um, is different to a, a guy's generally. So I think the jump there is huge. However, I feel like from that to like then the, I don't even know what you'd call them, like extreme premium stuff, I feel like the jump isn't as big. I think you don't need to have like four or five kits. I think just get one or two um, if you can afford it and then just you'll have them for years and years and years and that's how I, I would rather invest in one good thing than have like five cheap things that aren't gonna last. And I think that's better for economy for one and environmentally that, and that's just my opinion, but I wanna hear what you think about it. Do you think these are worth it? And let me know of some kit that you like and if you want me to review any of it, if you want me to try any of it out, 
um, and give you my reviews of it, then I'm happy to buy stuff, try stuff out and give you my honest opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've found this video helpful, I never say this, but like give a little thumbs up and make sure you subscribe, press the bell and all that stuff. And yeah, I will see you next video.